like I said, I take half a day off and all Hades breaks loose because apparently maybe the Vikings are going to trade for a quarterback. Maybe the QB2 uh, week one is currently on the rooster because the competition between Kellamon and Sean Mannion it's uh, leaving a lot to be desired. Now, Sean Mannion is who he is. Like We fully understand that he's been a career backup. Maybe shouldn't be a QB, too, as evidence from the Green Bay game last season. And Kellamon, we, we had faith that given uh, the proper environment and, and a proper system that he would develop. But we've seen some highs where he's dropped a couple of highlight reel passes, uh, both in training camp, regular practices, as well as the night practice. But the inconsistencies are maddening maddening man so it's just it's kind of frustrating because the backup quarterback is supposed to be the most popular guy in town and one of these dudes may win it by default <laughs> because Kirk Cousins out with uh, with illness on Thursday uh, these jabronis uh, split first team reps Mon came out slightly ahead whatever he, he did lead the first team offense on a game winning drive of 18 yards when <laughs> When Greg Joseph kicked a 60-yard field goal from the moon, man, which would have been good from like 72, but I don't know. So now, getting long story longer, getting into the meat of this. So uh, uh, Borman wrote this up. Uh, Seifert on K fan. So um, uh, uh, Seifert, uh, ESPN NFL Nation writer, who's not Carl Gerbschmidt. Yes. Uh, quote, my understanding is that internally, the Vikings are very open to the possibility that the backup quarterback isn't on the rooster. Uh, there are two factors there. How do these guys perform? Kelamon and Sean Mannion. And who's potentially available? So th- there's a couple ways to read into this. Number one, you know, we talk about practice. You know, coaches always talk about practice. Sure. We haven't even got to the preseason games yet. Let's see what these jabronis can do underneath the lights. Because Cousins, even if with the illness, I, he wasn't. I, I don't think that he's going to play in preseason anyway. So these guys do get an extended audition. And the fact that the Vikings only have three quarterbacks on the roster, these guys are going to be splitting up all, all those reps. Uh, but you can see this as a lot of things. Like, A, as a GM, Quasey and uh, the, the scouting department, pro, uh, especially the pro scouting department this time of year, they, they always should have their ears open. It's like, you know, how can we improve this team? Should we do this? Should we do that? Should we do that thing? Also, this could be a preemptive, just psychological kick in the ass. Like, hey, these guys have been sucking high and teat in practice, so let's leak out to the media through Seaford. It's like, hey, eh, you know, we, we could add a quarterback if these one of these a-holes don't step up. So uh, there you go. I, I think that it, that certainly possibly could be it. Uh, but also, here, here's the problem. So the quarterbacks that you know for certain would be better in these spots, back end, Kirk Cousins, you're always one play away as the backup quarterback, you know, knocking on wood, all, all that stuff, is that teams don't want to get rid of their quality backup quarterbacks. That's the thing. Whether it's a, uh, a veteran guy, stopgap clipboard holder, who you, you feel perfectly fine if he has to take a few snaps, or a potential uh, uh, grooming a quarterback of the future, teams ain't going to give them up. They ain't going to do it, right? And also, what sucks about free agency is that with 90-man rosters right now, any quarterback worth his salt is on a team. So that's uh, that's why it's a little bit slim pickings. And maybe the Vikings would add a quarterback after 53-man roster cutdowns, but then you have a backup quarterback who would have to get up to speed in season uh, because he missed all the training camp with you. He missed all the preseason games with you, whatever. But uh, free agents, I mean, we clearly live in a simulation, and the only way that this can end is if Cam Newton is the backup quarterback on the Vikings. <laughs> That's just how it is, man. Uh, of course, Kyle Sluter recently waived by the Jaguars. Bring back that love and Sluter. Do it. Do it, Quasi. I-, I understand that Sluter was a Spielman guy, but embrace. Embrace him. Mike Glennon and his nine-foot neck friggin' giraffe, man. A.J. McCarron. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Hogan. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Gordon. Misspelled his name. Don't care. Pride of Hawaii was pretty damn solid. Uh, and then also just bring back Nate Stanley. Why, why not? Why, why not? But in seriousness, if the team actually wants to trade for a quarterback, they should do it now because then that quarterback would have preseason and the rest of training camp to get up to speed. But the question is, how much are you going to give up for a backup quarterback? Well, Kirk Cousins has been exceedingly durable during his NFL career. Again, knocking on all the wood. So uh, is QB2 all that important? Well, yes, we saw Green Bay last year. When Sean Mannion came in, Vikings still have playoff aspirations, whatever. But uh, Bryce Perkins of the Rams is a really interesting name. 2020 UDFA coming out of Virginia. Spent the last couple years uh, with the Rams, with Kevin O'Connell, uh, with Wes Phillips, uh, and with John Wolford pretty much established as the Rams uh, QB2. <laughs> or Case Keenum. I said it. 
I said it. I would trade a fifth round pick for Case Keenum right now. Mainly because, well, nostalgia. Uh, also, the Bills, they got Matt Barkley on the rooster, so uh, Keenum potentially could be uh, available. So, why not? Hey, Quasey gets Brandon Bean on the horn. Hey, what's up? Hey, let's do that up. Mike White, the pride of Western Kentucky, uh, really lit it up for the Jets when uh, Zach Wilson was dinged up last year, but then White got dinged up. We were robbed of that time. Do you know that Joe Flacco is still on the Jets? Crazy, man. Tyler Huntley of the Ravens, now, he's a guy that is probably untouchable. Uh, because I think that Huntley is going to go the Tyrod Taylor route uh, again. A number, another backup quarterback on the Ravens after his rookie deal expired. Then he got a couple of starting jobs. I think Huntley is going to follow that path, and I don't think the Ravens want to give him up. Uh, Easton Stick of the Chargers, former NSU Bison, uh, wasting away again out in LA uh, Chargers land. Gardner Minshew, of course, the the immortal one, a former Jacksonville Jaguars superstar, uh, currently on the Eagles as a backup. You got the Commies and Taylor Heineke. Now, speaking of. You Let's get the band back together. Uh, go ahead. As well as P.J. Walker, Dynamite. So, I mean, the Panthers are a mess at quarterback, uh, but they got Corral. They, they got Darnold. They have friggin' uh, Baker Mayfield. So, I mean, P.J. Walker could be expendable there. XFL superstar, P.J. White, because he's Dynamite. Love it, man. But I don't know. I don't know at this point. More the the easier thing would would be is if one of these guys step up, and if it's Mannion, fine. If it's if it's uh, Kellamon, e- even better. And I mean, all of this distress will be put to rest if and when one of these guys drops three touchdowns against the Raiders, and all of a sudden, uh, life's good again. Life's good again. Kellamon heading to Canton, baby. But still see the potential in Kellamon, and maybe this is going to be a case uh, like Kyle Sluter where. He just doesn't get it done in practice, but put him in a game situation, game on the line. Yes, he's playing against twos and threes, but guess what? If Kirk Cousins doesn't play in preseason, he'll be playing against ones. So let let him see how he gets done. I, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, this sort of bums me out, even though I love me some rumors and speculation and, and trade season and all that stuff, but let, let's just figure this out. Oh, oh apparently they're also going to trade for a center, too, so that's fantastic. But uh, your thoughts on our thoughts. Are the Vikings going to trade for or sign a QB2? Question mark. Let us know uh, your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.